Good day everybody. Uh, okay, new project. Uh, this is based on the same principle. They uh, made two videos about this. And it's uh, the RTC on board of the ESP32. So every ESP32 has got an RTC real-time clock on board where you can store some information, but obviously it's very small, it's got about uh, very little memory. And you can store, uh, you know, like in this case, I'm storing a, term, a, a thermistor um, temperature. I can only put about 10, 10 um, sequence, okay, uh, based in array. So <coughs> it's a temperature reading, 10 temperature reading, which you can see when it gets to 10, we'll start again back to 1. And um, and recalculate, uh, re-show the temperature they was on before he went to sleep. Okay, so this is a project uh, sort of, you know, if you want to store data, um, you could put it on, um, you could put the data on, uh, uh, how do you say, on SD card and, you know, depends what you want to do with it. You can have, in this case, I'm using a, you know, a thermistor or you can use um, an ES, um, a DHT11 or 21 which which maneuver uh, which we which keep the uh, keep uh, the humidity and 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 the temperature okay so it's basically it's it's a small project but but it just to to show how, you know, when he goes off, he goes to sleep, and then he wakes up, and you can make it longer, uh, sleep longer. It will still keep keep the data inside. Obviously, it's limited. And here is the code. Okay. So we have the... It uh, <coughs> doesn't require, in this case, uh, um, and many libraries only the liquid crystal because it's showing on the uh, LCD and then you have the wire H and uh, the maths you know the calculation okay so now <coughs> you know the uh, this is to store this is to st it's a memory they store uh, 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 during deep sleep RTC data attribute and it's base array, okay. okay. So you have a store temperature, uh, only 10 times, 10 different uh, numbers in array and uh, 10 temperature reading. Okay, so, but I'm not going to, I will put this information on the, um, <coughs> on the channel. Um, and you go through, you know, the deep sleep wake up, temperature reading, storing data. Okay, so that's the way it will work. And uh, remember that the RTC memory is limited to 8 kilobytes, so 8 kilobytes you can't really make much. Okay, and uh, it, it, uh, 10, 10 reading is enough. Okay, so let's go back how we built it. So as you can see here, the LCD is uh, 5 volt and the, uh, it's not a thermostat, a ter thermistor, it's 3 volt. So I'm using 3 volt here and 5 volt here the ground for the LCD and I'm using um, this cable, the brown cable, it's uh, number six and number seven which is a uh, SEL and SDA and uh, number four it's the the signal for the thermist thermistor and the, pos the, the VCC 3 volt, 3.3 volt sorry, 3.3 volt and the ground 
Okay, so this is the rail in the, you know, bring it up from the chip and through the railing. Okay, so that's the way it works. And as you can see, store temperature, temperature 3, temperature 4, and those are stored. Those are a value that I will store. And you can actually print them out. Okay, I mean, I don't have a printer. But, or you can save it on a S, uh, SC, SD card. Okay, I think I went through, I went through everything. <coughs> Let me see. Yeah, practically that's all. And you can see the way it works. I think you can change the temperature, see what happens. Yeah, I kind of like, I will do one maybe with the DH11 to can store humidity, but also you can have, um, I forgot, there are sensors that you put in the plant and you can record every 10 minutes uh, the light or the humidity in the plant or something like that. Okay, and also if Obviously, this is not enough. You can use an RTC. It is an RTC. Okay, which has got battery to hold more data. Okay. Which we've done one with the timing as well. It's good for uh, RTC real-time clock. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. Please, please thumbs up if you like it.